Look who I ran into! <laughs> Subscribe to Rosa! Subscribe, <laughs> like, comment, turn on that notification bell! Yeah. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Hi, I'm Rose. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to Vlogmas. I have no idea what day. I've completely lost count. I haven't even been uploading for like a week just because I've been so focused on finals and I never actually got the chance to do any of my pre-film stuff. So here we are. I am so freaking tired right now, but I decided I'm doing this, which means I am doing this. Oh my God, the migraine. <laughs> this is probably gonna be horrible for me, but it's fine because I have been waiting to do this for weeks now. Anyways, as you saw in the title, I am going to be making some Christmas cocktails and I'm gonna get drunk while I do it. The recipes I found are supposed to be for like big batches of this stuff. So I'm just gonna kind of improvise on the amounts of things that I put and hope that it turns out well. Um, so number one is Rudolph's Tipsy Spritzer. I'm also gonna have the recipes linked below. I found them all on Pinterest. So yeah, anyways. Okay, this one calls for orange juice, cranberry juice, Sprite, vodka, maraschino cherry juice, which I do not have, a large lemon, which I do not have, and cranberries or maraschino cherries. I have dried cranberries because I thought they were fresh, but they were dried, so now I have dried. It's fine. So let's make that. I wanted Sprite, but all they had were 7-Up, so I'm just gonna go with it. Let's make this. So, supposed to be equal parts orange juice and cranberry juice, equal parts Sprite and vodka, and then all the extra, which is strawberries, maraschino cherries, and if you actually have it, lemon. If I can open it, that would be great. Okay, this might be questionable. I think I need to cut it. <laughs> Can you tell I've never made drinks before? I've had drinks before. I've never made drinks before. Here we go. I'm just gonna do both. Let's see how that works. The vodka. Oh, this is so cold. Okay, that's probably more than a shot, but it's fine. We'll do some seven up. I wonder if I'm supposed to rim the glass. It doesn't say anything about like the stuff that you use to rim it, but I think with the this stuff, it was supposed to be rimmed. It's fine. All right, let's taste test. That is so good. Okay, I don't know how, but I still have like a thousand, fifteen hundred. I have like fifteen hundred words that I still need to write because I need ten pages. Um, and I've only got a thousand words and I have like four pages. Um, it's fine, but I'm going to make my second drink. What is it? I'm debating if I want to just reuse this because it's the same garnish. Yeah, I'm just gonna reuse this because like it's all still in there. <laughs> so this one is the cranberry mimosa. So it's cranberry juice and sparkling wine. Oh. 
Okay, recap. Dried cranberries, frozen strawberries, and rosemary. <laughs> that is the garnish. Then I've got cranberry juice, which I'm gonna do a little bit of. I think that works. And then I got Muskoka Lakes Cranberry Wine. I'm so upset. You know, I used to be able to have like 10 cocktails in a night and I could still, like I was still good to go. Meanwhile, I've had one drink with maybe like two shots of vodka in it and I'm already feeling the effect. Okay, that might have been too much. It's fine. Cheers. That is so much cranberry. That is so much cranberry. for the next drink and I'm gonna try a little bit of that with the grapefruit juice that I have. That is so much cranberry. Okay, the second one, not my favorite. <laughs> I still have so much left. But we're gonna do drink number three. I'm also gonna move the cookies because they might fall off the table. Okay, this one's the raspberry mimosa, um, except I'm gonna replace it with strawberries and I am not making it like I'm supposed to. <laughs> um, it's supposed to be one bag frozen raspberries, quarter cup sugar, half cup, ha uh, one cup half and half cream, and then sparkling wine and then raspberries rolled in sugar for garnish. I'm not going to do that. It's supposed to be like a smoothie where like you mix up the frozen fruit and yeah, and I, I can't do that because I don't have a mixer. <laughs> so instead, <laughs> oh. I don't have sparkling wine, so what I'm gonna do, ooh, it's apparently spilled. No, what I'm gonna do is add a little bit of my 7-Up, add some sparkle to it. You know, I got mint. What was the mint for? Why did I get mint? Oh, I'm confused. I have mint, why did I get mint? Did I get mint instead of sage? I feel like that's something I do. I probably did that. Well, that's kind of sucky. It's fine. All right, a little bit of this. And then I'll add a little bit of sugar. It's supposed to be like a quarter cup sugar. I have absolutely no idea how much that makes, so I'm just gonna do a little bit of a spoon. I'm gonna leave that in there. It's all bubbly, I love that. Okay, I'm gonna add my half and half. How much half and half am I supposed to do? One cup, half and half and then three bottles of sparkling wine or champagne. So I'm assuming it's supposed to be less half and half than the wine or champagne. I feel like the sugar is still in there. I'll add the mint to this, but I'm gonna taste it first. All right. It's 
not bad, but it's also not good. Are you supposed to wash your mint? Um, are you kidding me? Half of it's bad. That's so mean. Oh, whatever. Okay. So this is called the Raspberry Mimosa Cocktail, except mine is pretty much just strawberries. Yeah, it's the Strawberry Mimosa Cocktail, but not made properly because it's supposed to be like a slushy. Oh, it's so much better with the mint. There's no mint in the recipe, but it tastes so good with the mint. 100% recommend. And now I have to pee. I just had a really good idea, or horrible idea, one or the other. The cranberry cranberry drink that is in, I'm gonna add some mint. And I'm thinking maybe half and half because then it's literally the exact same as the other drink. I still have to finish writing my paper. Add in some mint. Some of these are so bad, but it's okay. Ew. Well, it's semi-okay. Still smells good. <laughs> this cup is literally just garnish. much better already okay I'm gonna finish this one and I'm gonna put the other one in the fridge and then I'm gonna finish the other one and then we will do the final drink cheers What the hell? I used to be able to do 10 drinks without getting drunk. Ooh, my hands smell like mint. <laughs> I can't even, I just, I, I don't know. <laughs> Guess what leaked? <laughs> oh my God, why? Okay, last drink. I do not have sage, so I will again be using my mint. There is a recipe like for a syrup, but I do not want to do that right now. So I'm not going to bother. I'm literally just going to put water on my rim and then dip it into cereal. Uh, just sugar. Damn. Okay. <sighs> whatever the fuck are. I'm gonna use my frozen strawberries for the ice cubes and then I have the cranberry juice, uh, cranberry, <sighs> cranberry wine, actually no, I'm gonna do the vodka and then mint. Probably not my last drink of the night but it is my last recipe, so. Oh, that's pretty good. It would probably be better if like the leaves soaked in it for a little while. That's actually really good though. Hmm. 
So discoveries. Migraine, gone. Anxiety, nothing. Productivity, nothing. <laughs> Uh, did I spend like two hours on YouTube shorts watching fish videos? Yes. Yes, I did. They are actually really entertaining. I don't know what it is, but they are. <laughs> I still have to finish my paper. I've sat here for the last like two hours watching fish videos. I wish I was joking. <laughs> But you know what? My anxiety's gone. My migraine is gone. I might actually be able to sit here and work on my paper if I can actually focus. <sighs> I still have to write about what is objects in art and I'm not even sure what I've written so far. <sighs> and then I was gonna use the example of like Pollock. Is that his name? Is that how you pronounce it? Where he does these like the canvases are done on the ground, which is like before I being hung up, which the part on the ground is like an important aspect because it's not something that's been done before. Meanwhile, the part about hanging up on the wall is unimportant because it's been done before. But um, the subject and the self-expression is unimportant because it's outside of the artistic context because it only makes sense to him or his friends and family. However, it's still considered art. Did that make sense? <laughs> mm. I was cleaning up the wine in my fridge and there were so many sprinkles from my cookie house. Like so many. I had those little ball sprinkles on my like roof. And when I put the, uh, house in the fridge a bunch of them fell off so my fridge is just filled with little tiny sprinkles and then somehow I pulled a spoon out of my container on the counter and I like went to go scoop something up and there was a sprinkle in it but like the spoon was vertical and there was nothing in the container but then I put the spoon over the container and all of a sudden a sprinkle fell out of the spoon. Like, where did that come from? I don't. I have no idea why I felt the need to say that. <laughs> okay. Well then. <sighs> Anyways, I still need to finish that part and then I need to talk about what language is in art. And then from there, I need to talk about the relationship between object and language in conceptual art. Conceptual art. I am not making that mistake again. Did I? No. Conceptual. Oh my god. Mm. I don't know what sage tastes like, but the mint? Amazing. Mm. Okay. I wrote down a whole freaking definition list. Okay, I have a definition list. I don't know why, but I cannot type things. I need to write them like handwritten, like handwrite it before I can type it. So I printed out a copy of my English story I had to write this semester and I've been like writing my art history paper on the back of it so I'm not wasting paper. I'm still wasting paper, but like, whatever. That's not my definition list.
Okay. Where's my definition? I, I don't even have my definitions. Okay. Well then. Um, anyways, I made like a whole freaking definition list because of a text I was reading. I understood none of it because it had like, it had, it was a freaking English text and it had Italian words. It's like, why? Um, oh, it's right here. It was right on top. Oh my God. Okay. Um, Fortior, Fortiori is of stronger argument, derived from stronger or argument. <laughs> a priori is deduced knowledge or reasoning, deduced, not absorbed or experience. Totology, saying the same thing twice. Art is a totology because it is the presentation of an artist. I don't understand that one. I just wrote down the definition. Empirical, based on verifi verifiable by observation or experience rather than by logic or theory. Empirical proposition, evidence that supports, counters the proposition. Where am I supposed to use any of these? Like, all of these words were used to discuss formalism in a text that was supposed to explain conceptualism. What is formalism? Like, just none of this made sense. And it took me eight hours, eight hours to read seven pages. I literally have like five pages of notes from seven pages. <laughs> And I understand nothing. I just took notes. That is it. And now I still have to write like another 1500 words. And I honest to God do not know what else to write. I just, I don't. This was the worst question ever. And I chose this question thinking that conceptualism was minimalism and I thought I knew what I was talking about, but no, it wasn't minimalism and it wasn't objecthood and objects by like Freed. It was freaking conceptualism and Kosuth and whatever the other guy's name was, Atkinson or whatever. And am I talking loud? I feel like I'm talking loud, but at the same time when I'm drunk, <laughs> when I'm drunk, I like, I talk and I think I'm talking loud, but I'm actually not talking loud at all. And like, nobody can hear me. So I start like talking louder and then I'm talking at a normal volume, but I feel like I'm talking loud. So I don't know if I'm actually talking loud. Uh, I would stop drinking, but I have both of these and my family has one rule and that one rule is do not waste alcohol. Mm -mm. Even if it's disgusting, you gotta chug it. Anyways, I'm gonna try and finish this. I will update you at some point on if I actually do finish this. And that is all for tonight. I hope you enjoyed my drunk ramblings and let me know in the comments if you also made a drink tonight. Literally any of those recipes or anything else, I completely winged it and that is all. I should really just go to bed so I will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> also, I'm so sorry for my videos being completely out of order. Again, I had to take like a week. There was a week where I just, I could not get myself to edit. There were days where I was not filming. I was supposed to have um, pre-filmed videos, which I just never got the opportunity to actually film and blah, blah, blah. I'm probably gonna film them when I get home. 
uh, and just have them like for the end of December just go up randomly because I am determined to have 25 days. Next year I'm probably going to do 12 days because this is a lot. But that is all. I'm done. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank <music> you.